Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Sindhu from Informatica GCS. In this video, I am going to discuss about License and PAM details required for CDIPC part 2. The agenda of this video is to know about what are all the licenses which is required to use CDIPC and we will discuss about the PAM details of CDIPC followed by a quick demo on how to launch CDIPC using IDMC. Let us begin with the fulfillment. Our shipping team assigns CDI for Power Center Edition license in IDMC. With this edition, we have three different services, CDI for PC, Modernization Service and CDV. And each service has a different license bit, which is mandatory and important to use CDIPC. Cloud Data Integration for uh, Power Center service has a two different license bit, which is DMA and DMS, Domain Management App and Domain Management Service. And Modernization Service also has three different license bit, like PC to CDI Assessment App, modernization app and the modernization service cloud data validation which also has two different license bit which is db processor and data validation as i already said these are must to use cdi pc moving on to the cdi pc pam as we all know we are managing cdi pc on the cloud as well as on the power uh, on prem servers so we have to install secure agent and CDI PC supports the secure agent to be installed on uh, two different operating system, Linux and Windows as of now. And as I already mentioned in the previous video that we can install our CDI PC on top of existing PC version as well, providing the power center version if it is greater than 10.4.0. Post 10.4.0, Till 10.5.3, you can migrate PC to CDI PC using this versions. As of now, we are supporting Oracle MS SQL Server, Postgres SQL, and Sybase AAC database with uh, RHEL Windows and Amazon Linux operating system for both the domain and power center repository uh, CDI PC repository service database as well. Please note the PAM details which we have mentioned in this video is based on the latest 2023 December release. Let me give a quick demo on how to launch CDI PC using IDMC. Once you register to IDMC, you will see a page like this. You can log in with your credentials. You can log into IDMC uh, in any ways using a native account or LDAP account or even uh, with the SSO. Once you log in to IDMC using your credential, you will be landed in the page like this. Just uh, you can see a chiclet called administrator. Just launch this chiclet. The administrator will be the administrator homepage will look like this with your organization details. And you will have a tab called license towards your left. Just go to the license tab. And under the edition, you can see a cloud data integration for power center edition. If you couldn't find under the edition tab, you can find it under the custom license. Whatever the license bit which we have discussed in the previous slide, which is uh, related to CDI PC service and modernization service as well as the data validation, this can be viewed in custom license under the custom license if not under the addition tab pc to cdi pc modernization dma dms and all the modernization services 
these are all a must to use CDI PC. With this license, we can go ahead and use CDI PC. To launch the CDI PC, you can just click on drop down, which is visible here. And you can see a chiclet by name CDI for Power Center. Just click on the CDI for Power Center to launch the CDI PC. Once you click on that CDI PC chiclet, you will be landed into the home page of CDI PC. The home page of CDI PC looks like this, which has uh, installers and followed by the steps which we have discussed in the part one of video, um, the five to six important steps of CDI PC, where you can download the installers and you can start using the CDI PC. With this, we have completed our demo. We would love to hear from you. You can provide our feedback by visiting support videos at the rate .com, and also you can write us on Twitter. Thank you for watching this video.